and we are back once again to Starfield. So, yeah, today we're going to do this mission. I don't even remember what, what we were doing. What's our mission? Oh, yeah, we were doing a little bit of the Crimson Fleet mission. Proceed to New Atlantis. Break at the bank. Land on the launch. I think I prefer the wild planets to this city. To the there, city. The predators are easier to spot. Am I overweight? Yeah, I'm overweight. I was like just trying to test it out to see if I was. Alright. I'm done and now I think I just need to switch this ship. Hey, what can I do? Need some work done? Uh, modify my ship. Okay, no problem. Yeah, what is this ship? I don't remember what the Dotura is. The wagon. Upgrade ship. Make home ship. Alright, there we go. Now let's just fast travel to wherever. Bank. Surface map? Where is it? Damn, it really doesn't give me a good location of where it is. Enter the Gal Bank. I guess it's a place I haven't explored yet. So that would kind of explain it. So I'm just gonna have to just walk on foot till I get there. So a little cut till then. Ah, oh, right. I found Gal Bank. So let's see. I'm guessing these are tables that you use to fill out your order at Gal Bank. I can use his blah, his credentials to uh, hopefully sneak in here. Hello, welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Gal Bank archives. May I see your credentials, please? Bro, sounds like a drone. Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, <laughs> bro, yes, bro Mr. is soulless. Dombrowski, welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. I'm getting some really strange vibes off you. Something must be wrong. Shh, they'll hear us. Look, Ecliptic busted in here and said something about letting you walk into the archives and then they're gonna jump you. I'm supposed to let you in and then get the heck out of here. They said if I didn't do exactly what they said, they'd kill me. Just be careful. I don't even know how many of them are hiding in there. Oh, Jesus. All right. Like, what the hell? This is supposed to be a top secret, like, uh, place. Or, like, highly secure, like, place. I don't understand how there's a bunch of ecliptic guys in here. Like, there should have been a war. Hold on, wait. I need different power. Where's the grav shield? Or, no. Sense star stuff. Yeah, there they are. Useful last power, I swear. Calibrate. Pacifier. Ashta Tamer. Lost one. Oh my god, I have to reload. Son of a bitch. Man, I really need to upgrade this jetpack. 
Like, they have some pretty good jetpacks. Motherfucker. Damn, this is some criticals. Bro is able to actually survive quite... Oh my god. Oh, that, that nearly killed me. Oh, I barely survived. Oh, Jesus Christ. Almost killed me. No worries, big boss. We'll deal with you in a second. His stuff. Go de deal with um, uh, Andrea. Damn, how many was that? Like four or five? Man, Ecliptic is pretty good considering that even the corporation just won't stop him or, or like just kind of let him because there's no way. Damn, motherfucker took quite a bit of shots and he's. Like, just steamrolling my health. What the hell? Eh, what, what the hell? I have like 20 cent of these. I, I can use one. And where is it? Med pack. Let's go! Not finished yet. Not finished yet. Hold on. I just want to torture this guy a little. Oh, he's still good to go. I want to tease him while, while he was down. Damn, can, can you not grab people? Yeah, can, can you not grab people just like fall out? Alright, well, whatever. He's dead. Damn, Bastard can take quite a lot with those shields. Did I hurt myself on that fall down? Gal bank. Registry. Separate. Legacy. Departure point classified. Attended arrival point classified. Last known system. Bronk. Bronk 4. Search attempts 8. Attempts failed. Let's see, prosperity. Oh, th so they have a few different ships that are lost. Just trying to get as much information as I can out of this. Alright, whoever's gonna have to clean up these bodies is, is gonna have a lot to deal with plant but yeah can you not carry bodies oh you can carry bodies you just can't carry live bodies okay, i thought that was so weird i was like what the hell should be able to carry these yep dude just got the hell out of here I guess, yeah, I probably shouldn't just leave. I have to... I have to go to... Where is it? I think it's the whale. 
or a wall, whatever. I'm trying to remember. So quick cut until I get there. The trade authority appreciates your. Business. All right, I sold quite a bit of stuff, to... so we should just be able to get out of here now. Break the brink. Jump. Curse you. Who said curse me? Like, why did someone say curse? What did I do? I don't know if any of those Starborns are still after me. Because that would be quite something if they were. to go all the way i wish there was like a selection that you could choose which area you wanted to go to whenever you went on the space station next time you see subs shut up or die your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything that happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Rokoff's not bad. He turned out pretty helpful. Rokoff made me do everything, but at least I got... Yeah, I, I kind of like him. He's kind of a cool guy. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. All right, now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without flying every circuit aboard. Approaching that in. Well, in any ship would be suicide. There's gotta be a way. So, we've hit a dead end. I won't. EM class gas giant? Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM class means the planet is giving off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps? and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship, you'd be dead in space. Get it? <laughs> I feel like that has to be a reference to dead space, but they just add the in. So we've hit a dead end. Yeah, Rook. Just like every other time we've gone on this worthless treasure hunt. Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Kriegs hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. Kriegs wouldn't give up. I agree with Neva. This might... Maybe the data's wrong? Uh... I agree with Neva. This might be leading us nowhere. I refuse to believe that we've come this far only to smash straight into a wall. I don't care what either of you think. We have to push through. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But... Before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called a comm spike. We grab that little beauty, 
and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. We'll figure out this, I promise. We'll do the best we can. Oh great, stick me with Neva. You don't give up easily, do you? We do or we die. That's the way Crick's dictates. And that is the way we should have been doing it for years. It's as simple as that. We'll do the best we can. Best we can? What are you, five? All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crick's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. God, both Let's these people are horrible. Follow me. Yeah, I'm just telling him I'll, I'll do the best, like, not promising anything. Like, promising him sounds more like what a five-year-old would do, being like, we'll get it. We'll for sure get it. I'm just telling him we'll try our best. Now, I'm not willing to die for this, but I'm willing to at least put in some effort. Her, she's willing to give up zero effort. I hate that, like, every conversation we have with these guys. Also, that's a badass helmet. Is that, it's like you have to choose either one of them as a side. I feel like this is leading up to either her trying to take over, like, in the power seat, or him, like, trying to maintain. Hopefully, I can overthrow both of them. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award? Or I'm not gonna be very disappointed. Why do I have a feeling you're gonna make money off this thing more than I am? Yep, I guess let's just ask that. Well, that's because you'd be absolutely right. You see, Everyone above you in the fleet is making more than you are off the same gig. That's why we're all fighting our way to the top. Understood? Good. Now, you might want to hand over that award before I have you tossed off the keep. Just a thought. Well, I'm not really scared of her, but I'm just going to give it to her because it's like... What's his name likes me enough that I highly doubt they'll let her do that. Like, unless I do something like grievous, like I'm, I'm a traitor. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're going to end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing the roll call. But that's on you. Anyway. Here's your cash. Keep this up and I might even start respecting you. All right, fleet. We've all got work to do. So let's get to it. All right. Thanks for making me look good. I would have had to kill you otherwise. <laughs> Anything should let's See what's on here. Okay, so they have their own version of like a background or whatever. Related, you're at the right place. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. One of these days, somebody is going to follow me and figure out that I'm working with these guys. Because I'm coming way too often to visit these guys. Like, it should be every once in a while. Not every time I do a mission for the Crimson Fleet. So I heard. 
heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? I was able to successfully steal Galbank credentials. News travels fast around here. Should be arrested. News travels fast around here. We told you we'd be keeping tabs on you. So, did you get information for us or not? Yep, I was able to successfully... Yeah, some siren of the stars passenger should be arrested. Nice work. Any specific evidence you picked up regarding criminal activity should be given to Lieutenant Dog after the debriefing. If the evidence pans out, you can visit those alleged criminals in our brig the next time you stop by the vigilance. But for now, what do you have on Delgado and his little ragtag group of pirates? Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. You've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, though? Why are they literally doing Bannock the exact same EM thing gas giant, sir. as the Crimson There's Fleet ship people? There's a that could safely get near that type of world. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because, like, are these guys literally just a, like, copy of the Crimson Fleet people? Like, the guy is obviously the main one in charge, and then their lieutenant slash right-hand person that's in second in command, which is, just so happens to both be women. And it's like, they kind of have a good relationship here in comparison to the Crimson Fleet guys. God, oh, man, I, I so much would rather want these guys to be leading the Crimson Feet than these, than the other ones. I feel like they've hit a dead end. Good. That should slow them down for a while. Maybe, but I feel like I'm helping them too much. You almost feel bad for them. They're moving faster than you think. Look. I spent all day listening to those idiots running in circles. Are you telling me I don't know my own job? All right, calm down, Lieutenant. Yeah, okay, she's a bitch Even too. If Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem. There's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. Are you concerned that I'm helping them get closer to Crick's legacy? Can't you just fly someone out there and trace it to them? I think something called Com Spike will solve that problem. Yeah, aren't you concerned that I'm helping? Of course I am. We don't really have a choice in the matter. There are no shortcuts. The route you're taking to secure Crix's legacy to the Crimson Fleet is the only one at our disposal. You suddenly change your behavior, they'll know something's wrong. I realize it's difficult, but I urge you to stay the course for now. In the meantime, We'll formulate a plan to ensure the Crimson Fleet doesn't get their hands on that money. Hmm. I'm not certain. Galbank uses their own proprietary transponder system. Even a ship as old as the Legacy would be a challenge to trace. And even if we could find a ship, we don't have anything strong enough to resist those levels of EM radiation. Unfortunately, we're hampered by the same obstacles as the Crimson Fleet. But what about the comm spike? Shouldn't he know about it since he's a top level UC captain? They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. I feel like that is basically telling me somebody is going to snitch on me here and leak that I'm basically an agent or working for the UC. So, I don't know. 
<laughs> that kind of seems like a red herring. Are you any closer to convincing the council to attack the Crimson Fleet? Uh, aren't, aren't you going to warn the UC Navy about my attempt to grab the comm spike? Fleet any closer? My superiors are stubborn. They aren't going to authorize an attack on the key based on my flights of fancy, I've been told. We need more evidence that all the Crimson Fleet's plans will result in them actually getting their hands on this fabled cache of credits. Hmm. I don't see the point. The Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Any attempt to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. To play this close to the vest. All right, I'll report back with my evidence. Perfect. Just stick with the plan, and we'll see who gets to Quincy's legacy first. Interesting. And do I have anything that I can give to her? This mission is going to remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. Feel like discussing your personal experience? What can you tell me about the conspike? She shouldn't know, so. Really can't give anything. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. If it's something, it will feel better. Wow, that's evasive as hell. It's odd that you know more about me than I know about you. <laughs> that's a fine point, but in my defense, I was under orders to make sure we weren't pulling some kind of psycho into the mix. And honestly, there are far bigger things at stake than my personal feelings towards the Crimson Fleet. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But, uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? I don't know if that's flirting or what. Hmm, glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. Got this piece of certain Gal Bank employees who are on the board of Spire. Are you kidding me? Zembrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's going to be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Anything else? That's all I have. All right. Keep up the good work. Nice. <laughs> you don't like talking about your past, do you? You're not going to let this go, are you? Why do you care so much about my past? Hey, you're the one that you had something to tell. Since I'm entrusting, I deserve to know who's got my back. Okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. You might not like what I have to say. Would it shock you to learn that I spent some time in prison? <laughs> I suppose that makes me a hypocrite. Quite the opposite. It explains a lot. You're not a hypocrite, but since... Uh, shocked is a good way to put it. Why does that make you a hypocrite? Oh, come on. I haven't exactly been cordial about my feelings towards the Crimson Fleet's illegal activities. Shocked is a good way to put it. You're not a hypocrite, but you have a lot of explaining to do. That's fair. Well, okay. Where do I start? I grew up in the well in New Atlantis. Parents made barely enough money to keep the lights on in our apartment. After I dropped out of school, they begged for me to look for work. But I realized it was a lot easier to simply take whatever I wanted instead. A year after that, I'm a career criminal with UC security breathing down my neck and my parents kicking me out of the house. You did what you had. I'm waiting for the bad news. From criminal to cop, go figure. So, you lived on the streets. Hell no. I made enough money to buy my own apartment. Filled it with some decent stuff, too. I'd even send pictures of the place to my folks to rub it in. I was a real asshole. Um, well. I wasn't a nice person. <laughs> That's funny. She tries to be a good person or, I don't know, a professional person while on the bridge of, I forget whatever the hell this ship is called. I'm waiting for the bad news from criminal to cop. Go figure. I'm waiting for the bad news. Don't worry. You won't be waiting long. 
I was having the time of my life, earning way more than I needed to simply get by and loving every minute of it. Back then, if you would have told me one day I'd be wearing this uniform, I'd have said you were out of your mind. I bet the UC definitely recruited you for an undercover sting operation. This sounds like a painful memory. Hmm, very funny. And not even relatively close. Let's just say the years after my time in the well were filled with highs and lows. Look, the point is that I felt you deserved to know a bit about my past. To know where my anger towards the fleet comes from. You don't have to justify your anger. Being a criminal is a long way from running with the fleet. Longer than you can possibly imagine. Well, I think you've had enough for now. You get the point. Let's get back to it before Keyboy writes us a citation for loitering. Well, I hold prisoners of war when you can send them directly to prison. All Let right. me know if you need anything else. I feel like we had a good conversation with her. Let's see. Meet Neva and Jasmine on the thing. Alright, well, let's uh, meet up with them, I guess. Let's go back. I just man if like I do ever have to actually fight these guys I feel like it's gonna be like the raid it's like I'm gonna have to go bomb 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 like just having to fight my way through here Alright, Jazz, what do you got? According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So, how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920 security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. She would be wise to do the same. What does that even mean? Premium smuggling routes? Sounds... Should I expect any problem? What's premium? Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like in SY920's case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. Yep, should I expect any trouble? You're in the fleet. You should always expect trouble. As far as Juan goes, even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. All right. Well, good to know. I sure hope so. Because she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in a prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Bring it back in one, please. If it's a prototype phase, how do we even know it's going to work? We paid good money for the information, so I'm sure it works. And if it doesn't, a certain source at Mast is going to have to deal with a very pissed off Neva. And that would be the end of that. 
You just bring the tech here. I'll do the rest. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal. Because you're gonna need it. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have an arsenal on me. So you don't care if I shoot my way through the place? How will Han get me inside the station? She's got the clout to get you in the front door. They're gonna think you're part of a regular supply delivery. Beyond that, you and Juan are gonna have to put your heads together and come up with a plan. So it means we can get in, but to escape, we're gonna have to come up with our own. Are you kidding? The UC's already painted giant red crosshairs on our backs. Keep Wei and his pals at Sysdef won't rest until we're dead. It's not like you can make them any angrier at us, right? Shoot the place full of holes if you want. Just bring back that calm spike. All right, understood. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay, you'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. I feel like these two are dating. Why Han ask, what do I tell her? I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. If you get into deep trouble and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If you want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. Alright, what can you tell me about Wong? The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space. And her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put her to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. I like how we're using... Talk later. I like how everyone's probably using gal bank as their bank account. And yet we're trying to rob gal bank for this sabotage hope tech. I do want to do at least a few of these missions for Ryujin to see if like any more special missions pop up. This should be simple. Smugglers always like to use hope tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how the company feels about that. The Rangers. Let's see, I just want to see, did they resupply their weapons? Once again, it's only this one that's resupplied. Probably grab okay. that on my way out of here. <clears throat> kids. <laughs> I just like how they're called kid. Boo! <laughs> did I scare you? The selection I, here is quite good. I don't like how this guy is just around the kids like that. Kind of weird. Alright, let's see if I can just plant the device like I did the other time. Or if there's gonna be a guard here Keep making my life guys. hard. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, how, how do you get around here? This place is annoying as hell.
Like, there should be way into the factory from these office places. I just like how I can just come through this guy's thing. Yep, it's just the same ship unless... Like it is actually brand new ships that they're having. Oh my god. Guard. Oh, actually, I can actually deal with him now. Hey there. Hold on. Gonna quick save just in case. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, get in there. There we go. Was able to do it real quickly. Hell yeah. And now we leave. Oh yeah, so I guess the mission is just automatically done at that point. Final glimpse on Earth. Hmm. Yeah, man, I got so many missions. Also, is this done? Wait one more UT day, and then that mission should be done, and I can go bury Barrett. All right. Yep. Let's see. Since I haven't done these missions in a while, let's just go there. Oh my god. What is that? Bastard tried to kill me. Uh. Where? Too easy, they say. Oh my god, how many of them are there? I was expecting all of this. dead guys you can't save them I know exactly who I'm messing with y'all are goddamn dead Pathetic show. Oh my god. How many guys do they have? Hold on, no way. Can I just go? Fuck.
Like, damn. This is literally just farming. Hold on. Destroy the mercenary patrol. Damn, this is just supposed to be a patrol. Took a little bit of damage, but not enough to actually be worried. But alright, this is like where I wanted to like leave off before like proceeding with this mission. Where are we going? I was what expecting to be attacked. What's next for me and you? But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying Starfield. Things with the Crimson Fleet are heating up. As we get closer and closer to Crix's legacy. But next time we're probably going to be doing some missions for the Freestar Collective. And then probably some other things. But yeah. Anyway. If you guys are enjoying Starfield. Please make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Like my Twitter. My Twitch. My YouTube. My DLive. My TikTok. My Kick. Rumble. Odyssey. And Daily Motion. Make sure to check out my second YouTube channel. And like and comment on all my videos. And even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do in my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Bye.